In this video, we present SOAP. SOAP is a pointing device that is based on the optics and electronics from a wireless optical mouse. Unlike a mouse, however, SOAP can be operated in mid-air. The core of any SOAP device is a lentil-shaped wireless unit that contains an optical sensor facing outwards. The core is enclosed in a tight hull made from elastic fabric. Since the core is completely enclosed in the hull, users cannot interact with it directly. Instead, users apply pressure to the core from the outside. Given its particular shape, the core evades the pressure and starts rotating. The motion between core and hull is captured by the optical sensor in the core and is reported wirelessly to the computer. A switch inside the core allows users to click SOAP by squeezing it. Users control SOAP using three types of motion. Users perform a joystick interaction by dragging the fabric on top of the sensor. When released, the fabric returns to its original position. The joystick interaction is very fast and precise and is well suited for acquiring small targets and for steering tasks in interactive applications. Users perform a belt interaction by dragging the fabric on top of the device in one direction while dragging the fabric at the bottom of the device in the opposite direction. Users prevent the device from flipping over by applying some vertical pressure. The belt interaction allows users to position the pointer. Repeated belt interactions allow users to move across distances. Users perform a soap interaction by keeping the hull stationary and instead flipping the core. The SOAP interaction allows users to get across very long distances and is particularly useful for navigation on very large displays. The particular motion of this interaction style reminded us of rolling a wet bar of soap in one hand, which gave the device its name. The rectangular form factor used here is designed for controlling the view in first-person simulation games. It allows glancing up and down using joystick motions, while it supports belt and SOAP interactions only horizontally. For interactions with general-purpose applications, such as 2D desktops, we are using this shorter form factor. It can be flipped along both axes and allows users to move freely in two-space. We have used SOAP in a variety of scenarios that allow high-pointing accuracy, yet that occur in settings where a mouse cannot be used. Many gamers use mouse and keyboard for playing games. Unfortunately, mouse use binds users to a table. By combining SOAP with a wireless keypad, users are able to play while sitting on a sofa or standing up. Similarly, SOAP allows users to interact with the screen of a Windows Media Center. Here we are using SOAP to interact with a Windows desktop on a 23 megapixel wall display. The SOAP interaction allows users to traverse the screen very quickly. At the same time, users can acquire pixel-sized targets using the joystick interaction style. We envision using SOAP to control portable devices such as mobile audio players. Such a SOAP device could be operated while inside a pocket. Since SOAP operation is not affected by motion of the device as a whole, SOAP would allow users to pick tracks and adjust volume while running. A basic SOAP model can be made using inexpensive off-the-shelf components. Open the notebook mouse and discard the casing. Connect the two batteries using a short piece of wire. Adjust the battery connectors to fit the new position of the batteries. Now use a rubber band to mount the batteries onto the circuit board and to push the batteries into the connectors. The same rubber band also holds the prism in place. Our casing is made by reusing two plastic bottles from a cosmetic product. Remove the top parts of the bottles and adjust the lengths of the remaining bottom parts to accommodate the circuit board. Smooth the edges. Form an inner ring from the remaining bottom material. Cut the ring open and remove enough material to make it fit inside the casing. Attach the ring using double-sided tape. Use a solder iron, two pieces of wire and a small plastic block to move the left mouse button to its new location in the center of the device. Cut a hole in a piece of foam to accommodate the switch. Place the foam over the circuit board and slide the assembly into the casing. Verify that the button can be clicked by squeezing the casing. Slip your device into tight pouch made from stretchy fabric and seal it using a velcro closure. Making the pouch from a sock will result in fewer seams. Sync the device to your PC with a strong press over the sync button. Install a mouse mirror program to rectify the otherwise mirrored mouse events.
The shown design is particularly easy to make. We have also made a variety of other prototypes that vary in form factor, number of buttons and materials. We've been able to gather initial user data from people trying out a SO prototype during a demo event, as well as during a one-day workshop where about 40 people constructed their own SOAP devices.